Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. It is the month of February. Now, in the last video, I didn't really get too many shinies and I kind of had this pretty long rant about the current state of the game and how I feel about it. So, I don't really know where this video is going to go. We're going to find out. I might be playing like a decent amount. The events so far seem pretty good. We get like a rocket event. We get the Lunar New Year event, which it's expected that we'll get maybe Shiny Nummel and Mega Camerupt, which would be pretty cool. Um, we have the Valentine's event, which I don't know, just speculation, but I could see them doing like Shiny Alomomola or Shiny Audino for that. Maybe like Mega Audino or like a Mega Slowbro or something like that because there's pink Pokemon. If they do the pink Pokemon thing, I mean, I need Shiny Slowpoke times two still, so that's kind of cool. Um, pretty good events. I usually like this time of the year for Pokemon Go because it starts to get a little warmer and then they do some pretty fun events with like the Lunar New Year and Valentine's Day. So we don't really know. There's nothing really confirmed. The only thing we have right now is that they're going to do a rocket event and there's no new shinies confirmed, but I think they're going to switch the rocket leader shinies. So not sure. Nothing is really confirmed. They just said that there's going to be new shadows and new po like sp Pokemon spawning wild that are like poison and dark type. So pretty standard stuff. Other than that, the end of the month, we have the go tour event and that is going to be its own video. I'm going to keep that separate. So hopefully I can find it in my power to not spoil anything between them. I'm not sure what video will come first. Probably the go Kanto tour event from this and hopefully I can just not spoil anything. So yeah, we got some cool events. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'm motivated enough to play this game so I can get some more shinies. But yeah, until then, I will see you if we get any new shinies. Okay, guys, it's uh, currently the Team Rocket celebration event. And there's a couple shinies I need from this event, but I haven't really been grinding too hard for shinies. Uh, we're going to get this message. But yeah. Uh, Basically, I've been pretty busy with like school, so I haven't been ha I haven't really had too much time to go out to grind for like spawns and stuff. But today I was out for a while because I had time and I was doing mainly the rocket stops. But uh, as you can see, actually I don't know if you can see this. It's currently 12:09 a.m. and I went to check spawns on both my accounts. Wanted to check my balloon on my main, but on my little account. I got a shiny Grimer. This is the second shiny Grimer I've gotten, which completes the line for me. Finally, that took, uh, that was 400 something, 496 encounters for that. Finally completing that. I need to get a, at least one Skroopy because Skroopy's spawning quite a bit. And uh, I'm like 600 in, yeah, I'm 612 in on that, so. Hopefully soon we can get Skroopy, but uh, there's Shiny Grimer. Maybe I'll get a Shiny Live, I don't know, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm going to maybe grind more of this event. It doesn't last too much longer, but I want to have a good shot at a Shiny Skroopy, and I want to continue to do Rockets and Leaders so that I can get uh, uh, at least level up in Pokemon Go. I'm, on, I'm currently on the level where I have to get uh i have to battle 50 rocket leaders and i think i'm at like 40 now because i did like a bunch today so yeah if i get any more shinies i will definitely see you then <laughs> what the heck <laughs> yeah. oh i got a delivery oh i got one yes Oh, big nipples! Well, no, I gotta get one on my main now. <laughs> I called it. I was like, Dom's gonna get one on his little first. What'd you get when? What'd you get on yours? This is why I don't. It wasn't your main. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. What? That's insane. What? What? I'm probably. Yes, dude. Look at it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> it's wow. it's zero three I think two. That's rank one, bro. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay, guys, so <laughs> I was at my house. This was after Mill Tank. The Mill Tank. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting these things. Uh, after the Mill Tank spotlight hour, as you can see, it's like 10 48 p.m. So, quite a few hours after, but I was just at my house 
and my little got the shiny mill tank and it just got another shiny and i was like come on like my main doesn't hasn't been getting the shinies lately especially the ones i need because my little got the grimer and the mill tank and I was holding on to the shiny on screen so I could record it later, and right before I was about to, something insane happened. As you can see, I have both games out, but uh, I'm, I'm just like in the garage, but here we go. Double shiny Goldeen. <laughs> like what? They're different Goldeen, but uh, that's back to back. I clicked on this Goldeen on the little, which is the left screen, and then the next check I did was the one on the right. So that's as close to a back-to-back -back shiny as I've ever gotten in this game, I'm pretty sure. So uh, there we go. Let me just try to catch these things. It's kind of crazy, both at my house. And like the fact that I held on to the Goldine to record it with commentary, like I wouldn't have gotten this double reaction. This is kind of crazy. Not really a reaction, but like double recording of both goldies <laughs> all right let's see which one's better ivs and they both suck lucky for me i hatched a shiny goldie a while back on my main so i will evolve that one because that one's significantly better ivs but i just thought that was crazy like having to record a double full odd shiny like this on two screens it's kind of crazy so um leave a like for that if you haven't done so yet and yeah, I will keep going. I, I don't need any more shinies from this event because I, I only needed Mill Tank and Goldeen. But uh, if anything else happens, I think the Valentine's event's coming up. I don't think there's anything I need from that either. But uh, I mean, who knows? There'll probably be some new shinies I need at some point. And uh, if, <laughs> if that happens, I will definitely see you then. I, I don't think I'm friends with him. I, oh, I may be. Maybe. I don't look at Facebook, though. It's, uh, pretty graphic. <laughs> what is it? Are you screen recording? I am. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't tell me right now. <laughs> no, I want to take a picture and send it to you. <laughs> I got a shiny! <laughs> oh, wait! Yes! <laughs> Bro, you're cracked. Dude! <laughs> What CP is it? It's terrible, but it's on my f my fifth little account. <laughs> and the only reason- I mean, it, like, who cares, but like- Yeah, the only reason it's on my fifth little is because I wasn't sure it would be able to beat it on its own, so I had to sign into it first. Is that your Dex entry? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we ain't spending money on these raids, that's for sure. Don't scare me, old man. <laughs> Dude, nice. Congrats, Banger. man. Well, you're done. Pokedex on this one too! <laughs> Bruh. Oh, that was the fourth check. So seven. That took seven. Dude, I gotta get it soon, man. Banger, dude. I was saying, I'm like, I need this to be fast because I will be very stressed out if I don't get it. Now I just gotta hope spin this task show up. I'm four checks in, I think, now, so. <sighs> Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, dude! Double shiny spin dot! No way! <laughs> no freaking way, dude! Oh my gosh, that was the third and fourth check. Let me go to my counter. One, two... So, 39 and then one, I guess, for that. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Might as well just pin at these, I don't know. I don't need to check anything on my little. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm done with this event, and I just, my brother just texted me, of course. I knew I should have turned Do Not Disturb on. Oh, well, I'll cut that out. But, uh, oh my gosh, dude. That was insane. I can't believe I just got that. So, what I'm gonna do, I mean, I don't really care about the IVs of Shiny Spinda. Um, I might trade this one over on my little and then best buddy that one because that way I can still trade this form to someone else. And of course I'm getting, okay, timeout. 
So, <laughs> of course, I'm getting spammed with notifications now. I, by the way, I rarely get messaged or texted, but of course, it's always when I'm recording. But, uh, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is trade the one on my little over to the one on my main, and then I think I'll best buddy it, and then this one will be trade for someone who might need it, so... Um, and maybe they can give me a form I don't have. There's only two forms I need. I believe it is three and six. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it's three and six. But, oh my gosh, I am so glad I got this thing. That is just absolutely insane, especially the double one. Holy crap. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I actually have two more checks. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, if these are shiny, there's no way. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah um that was insane i this this video has two double shinies in it one's live one's not but still it's pretty insane um if i get anything else i will see you then i don't think there's anything if anything there will be a pokemon day event and i don't know if i'll need stuff from that oh but there's the kanto event uh I don't know how I'm going to do this video. I'll probably do Kanto Tour before this video because whatever I need from Kanto Tour, I don't I, I can just spoil it and be like, okay, I need these for the Kanto event that's post that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I will definitely see you if I get any more shinies. Oh my gosh, dude. Shiny Snorlax from Research. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this thing's gotta be boosted odds. <laughs> this is from the the Go Fat uh the Go Tour Canto Tour research. I grabbed like only two of these tasks and I just completed it now. It's the first one. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. That is awesome. <laughs> Shiny Snorlax. Post Kanto Tour. I think they boosted the odds for Kanto Tour. It's pretty bad IVs, but like whatever. We'll definitely take that. I think they boosted the odds for Kanto uh, after Kanto Tour, which was weird to me. I don't know why it didn't start off boosted odds, but whatever. I'm so happy I got this thing. That's so sick. I got one more check too, so I might as well check this one. No, oh, okay, okay, we can't get the back-to-back, -back, but, uh, at least we got one. That was insane. Literally the only field research for Snorlax that I did, and it was shiny. Of course, this one's, like, way better IVs, too, but, I mean, whatever. We'll take it. Shiny Snorlax, that's so hype. Um, I can't imagine I get anything else from this Kanto event for the month of February, so... This might be the last shiny I get, so I guess I will see you for the recap. Okay guys, the month of February for Pokemon Go is over. Let's take a look at our results. Let's go shiny and scroll all the way. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, Roselia Day was February. It started with this Skarmory. Now, Skarmory, I got two Skarmories. I'm trying to get XL candy for these things because I have a perfect Skarmory. And the shiny rate is, like, way too high for this thing, so i just gonna get way too many shinies. This Ekans was from Spotlight Hour, which, uh, I clicked on a handful at my house and got a shiny, which was kind of cool. Um, yay, I guess. I didn't really need that. And then we're talking about the good stuff. I got this, uh, shiny Grimer. This was new for me. Um, I needed shiny Grimer for a while. And thankfully, I got it during this event because I couldn't get it for Kanto Tour either. And I was kind of banking on getting it for Kanto Tour. But luckily, I got it before that. So this will complete our line. We'll do the Muck Evolution in a bit. Then Roselia Day happened. Uh, one of the worst community days ever. Especially because I already had a perfect Roserade. And I had to like either give it two Elite TMs or just not get a good, a perfect with the exclusive moves. But uh, at least we got a 96% shiny Roserade. That was kind of cool. Then, uh, then what was this? Like the Lunar New Year event. And we had Miltank Spotlight Hour. I got this Miltank on my little, traded it over, and it was increased lucky chance. So I got it lucky. Not the greatest lucky, but like still 
pretty good for a shiny mill tank. I will take that. Then we absolutely popped off with shiny Goldeen at the same time, or it wasn't really the same time. I had clicked on a shiny Goldeen on my little account, which was this one. And I was waiting till I could like record it and like show you guys. And while I was waiting, this was probably like 10 minutes later, I clicked on another one on my main. <laughs> so I had both of them to record, which was insane. So I got two shiny goldings. I only needed one, but I'll still take an extra one. So we can finally get shiny seeking. Then uh, lucky trades happen. There's That's why there's a lot of like lucky shiny legendaries. Um, I got a random shiny Makuhita, probably at my house. Uh, not really important. I got a shiny Metatite. Uh, shiny Feebas is another boosted odds all the time shiny, so this one was like whatever. I was actually shocked I didn't get more during the, what was it, the Valentine's event? Because they were actually spawning quite a bit, and literally this was my first encounter for Feebas during that event. So, uh, I was surprised I didn't get more. It's like Skarmory, it's like Scyther, it's like Onyx, all those things. They're all just like boosted odds shinies all the time, and they tend to spawn a lot, which doesn't really make sense, but... Moving on, we actually we absolutely killed it with a, a Valentine's event. We got the two new shinies I needed. We actually got the Spinda back to back on both my main and my little. So at the same encounter, I checked it was two shiny Spindas, and yeah, that was actually insane. So now I have one for trade. I the other one's on my little right now. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'm holding on to it on my little in case specific people want it from me so I can just trade it to them for my little as opposed to trading my main, the one on my main. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can get like some costume shiny or something out of it that I need. But uh, that was really cool. Then uh, shiny Chansey happened because shiny Chansey is another one of those boosted out shinies and they were spawning quite a bit. Um, I did get pretty lucky with Chansey though. I... I mean, when, when I needed Chansey, it took me, like, 300 encounters to get it. This one, like, now I got these, like, m maybe, like, 60 checks total. I got three of them, so, like, I, I got pretty lucky with them. But then I traded this one over for my little, and it became a 93. So this is my best IV shiny Chansey, which is pretty cool. Then I did a lucky swap for shiny Rayquaza, and this is a 98. So I'll take that. I do have a perfect Rayquaza, so if I get XL candy for it, it's going to go into the perfect as opposed to this. But I'll probably max this one out at some point if, if I can. Um, I can't see myself getting a perfect shiny Rayquaza anytime soon unless I continuously lucky trade, which I don't really want to do if I already have a 98 one. And go, moving on, the only other shiny I needed from the Valentine's event was a Loma Mola, and I got it after seven checks only. It was like, I did one raid on, I think, three accounts, that, and that's what got it, but then I did a few tasks beforehand as well, so... Really happy about that. This is terrible IVs because of the trade, but uh, it, I don't care. It's a cool shiny, and I'm glad to have gotten it so easily. Um, I, I normally don't get super lucky with the 1 in 50, like, limited time shiny stuff, especially with, like, shadow shinies. Uh, recently, like, shadow shinies are around 1 in 50 chance as well. Recently, my shiny shadow look's been awful. It took me, like, nearly 300 for one. Then immediately after that, it took, like, over 300 then after that right now i'm currently like 80 in so like over odds three times the last two are around six times odds which is absurd then uh canto tour happened which uh i already have a video on that so you can check that out later so we got that uh we did a lucky swap for a mewtwo i think i had that in the canto tour video but literally like the day after canto tour i got a shiny snorlax from a task so during the Kanto tour, I'm pretty certain that it was a full odd shiny. They had like some Pokemon full odds and, and like a lot of them boosted odds. So I personally think everything should have been boosted odds, but like all like the good new stuff besides the Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, those were all full odds. So like Paris, Spiro, Snorlax were full odds. Hardly anyone was getting them across like Twitter, social medias, all that stuff. And especially because you got like guaranteed encounters with Snorlax, it li really raised some red flags when like only like a handful of people had gotten them shiny across like the entire world basically but i predicted that they would boost the odds post canto tour i was just confused as to why they had it full odds in the first place um i i guess spiro and paris make more sense but snorlax didn't but yeah snorlax to me was one of those pokemon that seems like it would get boosted odds for like any non-event or what whatnot but I held on to a couple uh, hatch three egg tests from Kanto Tour, and then I claimed them after the event, and the first one was shiny. So we'll take that. It's pretty bad IVs. Hopefully I can find someone to lucky swap it with, because that would actually be so sick. I still need a perfect Snorlax, and 
Shiny Snorlax is so slept on. It's such a cool shiny. Like, people say it doesn't change much, but it goes from, like, a dark forest green to this, like, really bright royal blue. Like, it looks insane. So, uh, yeah, there's the shiny Snorlax, and I believe that was it. I traded the Machop over for my little from Kanto to her, and then the Tauros was something I just got, but I don't need. So, that's... That is basically it. Also, one thing, I, I recorded this, but I'm not going to put it in the video because I was only going to record it if it was shiny, but I ended up getting a perfect Mewtwo from a raid, which I'm really happy about. I, uh, I rarely get perfect legendaries. I average about a perfect... With this Mewtwo, I average a perfect legendary about one every 400 raids. Before, this, before I got this Mewtwo, I average about one every 500 plus raids. And the odds are 1 in 216. So I was literally like double odds on average every time. And one of my shiny or one of my perfect legendaries from raids was like nearly back to back. So it just shows how terrible my luck is with legendaries. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to have gotten Mewtwo. I got like the big two perfect legendaries being Mewtwo and Rayquaza, which I'm more than happy with. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically it. Let's do some evolutions. I believe it is only the Grimer and the and the the golding right so oh these are all shinies i was like really confused i'm like why is it showing all these so this one is awful ivs guacamole is a lot better i'm probably gonna evolve guacamole and probably rename it because it's not gonna look as much like guacamole so uh let's just do that evolve grimer into muck finally getting this shiny out of kanto I only need, like, the two Paris, the two Spiro because those are new and they're full odds. Then I need two Slowpokes and a Bellsprout and a Jinx, and I think that's it now. So we're, like, really coming close on getting all the Shinies from Kanto. Obviously, I need Mew, but it's, it's impossible to have Mew right now because you have to... Literally, step two of the research is to catch a Pokemon 30 days in a row, so that's, like, you know, it'll be at least a month before I get Mew, so that's great. But, uh... There's our shiny muck. Now we can do goldeen and shiny. I think I have like an obviously really good one. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the one I hatched. I definitely gonna evolve this one. So here we go. Our hatched shiny goldeen going over to seeking. Shiny goldeen's pretty lame. Uh, I think, I think shiny seeking's kind of lame too. Let's see. I know it's orange, but like, yeah, like, Honestly, I think Golding's better than Seeking, but whatever. We got Shiny Seeking in the decks. So that's cool. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the Domination, and I will see you in the next video.